Hello and welcome to 3800 Harrison Street Northwest, located here in Chevy Chase, DC. Not to be confused with Chevy Chase, Maryland. We're located in Upper Northwest. We have a wonderful home for you us to tour today, featuring over 5,100 square feet. Come on, let's take a look. This home has been in the same family for over 50 years, which is wonderful because you can see all the care that they put into this home and maintaining it and all of its wonderful features as we're going through here. We'll see how many things I can back into throughout this video. In previous takes, I've hit this table at least twice. And so with that, we come into the foyer. So this is a really lovely entry foyer. It reminds me a lot of the homes actually on Wyoming Avenue in Northwest DC with these square foyers. Not something we see that common. Normally there are these rectangular areas that are long hallways. It's typical that you'd see in a center hall colonial, but I really like this for greeting guests, announcing guests as they come in. And you have these wonderful hall closets as well. This is definitely a nod to the 1920s when this home was built, where you have some of the older features incorporated into this home, of course, beautifully maintained over the years. So with this, we move out of that foyer into what at the time would have been a formal living room, or as one gentleman that toured this property called it, the don't touch that room. So as you can see, stage furniture, so I can go ahead and touch it. But when I was a kid, we always had a room in the house that had all the things in it that we were not allowed to touch. And this formal living room is that place. So obviously you can see we have tons of natural light in this room and throughout the home, as you'll see, but it's a great space for entertaining in a more formal gesture. But of course, if you wanna have a less formal, say family room, this also is well suited. You have beautiful built-ins and bookcases, you got a fireplace, and of course you could mount a TV if you'd like. So as you go through, the living room back across the foyer, you enter into the dining room. So we'll take you there. This is the formal dining room. As you can see, we have windows on three sides, which is great when you're having a nice evening meal or even a beautiful breakfast with the family. You got tons of natural light. You also do, as you see, you have radiators throughout the entire home. So this home is really the best of both worlds. We have radiant heat, but we also have central air. So you get all the moist heat that you get from radiant heat, but you also get the modern convenience of having central air conditioning because obviously when this house was built, air conditioning was not a thing. So this is a great seating area, easily could accommodate a seating of 10, 12 if you really needed it to work. And from that, you move right into the kitchen. This kitchen has been updated over the years, but definitely is on its way to needing another update. You got great stainless steel appliances, Thermador, everything is in great working shape, but obviously somebody might come through here and put their own touches on it. And then with that, you come right across from the kitchen and you have this nice breakfast area. Again, windows and natural light definitely being a theme. And you have a nice little wet bar, which I think somebody later might convert into a butler pantry. You got tons of options in this house. You can obviously keep it the way it is, but there's definitely some things with the layout that you could modify if you wanted it to better suit the way you're living. Again, as we're moving out through the kitchen, we're gonna go look at the bedrooms. You do have this nice walk-in pantry, which leads down to the basement, which will take a tour towards the end of the video. So as you come through this kitchen, you enter into a nice long hallway where you have bedrooms, yes, somewhat rare in DC, but we have a bunch of first floor bedrooms, offices, and dens, which gives a lot of flexibility if you're looking for a house that you could maybe one day age and place into. But also, these are nice rooms. If you wanna use that formal living room that we featured in the beginning, you can use one of these rooms as a TV family room where the kids can go and you're not having all that noise in the rest of the house. Or you can use these as bedrooms because you have a Jack and Jill bath and a den and those sort of things. So this was used as a den at the time. Again, you have great bookshelves and built-ins, and then you have a den, you have a bedroom, which was used as a bedroom, but could also be used as a den. Uh, again, you have wonderful natural light in here. <clears throat> Coming out through the den and through We have this nice Jack and Jill bath. So if you structured this as a bedroom, if you say wanted people on the first floor, 
you do have a Jack and Jill bath to give you some privacy for using the restroom and bathing while still living on the main level. You come through that bathroom and you enter what could be purposed as another bedroom, but also would be a great family room study because you do have this access onto the deck, which we'll tour when we go outside. But you have, again, more built-ins, and this is a place that was used at the time for watching TV, and I think somebody will likely purpose it as a TV room or as an office. As you come through the here, you enter into the primary suite, which again, for the time, very rare. We seldom see primary seats on the first floor of homes in DC that were built prior to 1950. And that's because at the time, it was just not a thing. The suites were upstairs and you didn't occupy your first floor as your living area, as your bedroom area, it was mainly used as your living area. But here we have a great primary suite, which is great for somebody who wants to purchase the home and possibly age in place. You got wonderful, really tall doors into these closets. And again, you have a nice ensuite bath. So with that, we're gonna go upstairs and take a tour of some of the features we have up there. We'll see you up there in a second. Up here on the second level, we have two bedrooms and an incredible great room. And that's the best word for it. So on the second level of the home, we have a great full bath to serve the bedrooms up here. We have a cedar closet for keeping all your clothes from molding. Keep the walls down too. And then we have a bedroom here that is really generously proportioned, especially for a 1920s home. I love the dormer, slate roof. It's really just a beautiful bedroom here with great wallpaper. This wallpaper probably went out of style 20 years ago, but I think it might be in style again. The drapes match, what more could you want? And then from there, we go to the other bedroom. Again, this wallpaper, I know you might think it's dated, but I actually think it's coming back around. We were given the opportunity to take the wallpaper down and paint as we did a lot of painting to prepare this house for market, but it's so much fun, how could you take it down? So we have two bedrooms up here, and then we have a incredible great room, which I think either could be used as a living room if you wanted to have a living room up on your second level, or could be converted into two bedrooms, or an incredible master suite. I mean, take a look at all this space. So we believe, we have no evidence for this, but it's just a hunch that this might have been an addition to this house. These folks have owned this home for over 50 years. They didn't do this. They're the fourth owner of this home built in the 1920s. But we think maybe at some point, somebody added an addition on this house and built this giant room. It is amazing. I think somebody probably one day will make it a owner suite, um, but hard to say what you can do here. You got tons of options. You've got huge skylights, tons of natural light. You've got these incredible closets. I mean, in some houses in DC, this is a whole bedroom. Come take a look. And you have a second closet just on the other side. Right as you enter, you have this second large closet as well. Tons of storage. We're gonna head downstairs into the basement, take a quick tour, and then go outside and see some of the great grounds we have to offer here. Here we are in the basement. So as you can see, fully unfinished, ready for you to put on your personal touches if you even need it. There's obviously a ton of space upstairs. I'm not entirely sure somebody will finish this, but it is bonus space should you need it. We have central air conditioning down here. We have a boiler, a very large hot water heater, laundry facilities, and tons of storage. The only cool thing that I wanna point out here, obviously the whole house is cool, but one of the coolest things is back in here, we have this little room that I think would be best purposed as a dark room. If you're still developing photos, which I think is sort of fun to still do, this is a great room to use as a dark room. Obviously there is a window that you could obscure and it's perfect for turning into a dark room. So with that, we're gonna head outside. There's some really cool things to talk about in the grounds and in the garage. And so we're gonna take a quick tour of the grounds and. 
wrap this thing up. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. Let's head outside. What a great backyard we have here on Harrison Street. As you can see, these folks have put meticulous thought into all the great features here with the outdoor space. We've got wonderful landscaping, always partial to the Japanese maple. As you can see, we've got this great sitting area, a lovely big oak tree, perfectly uplit. This is a wonderful space for entertaining on the beautiful DC spring days. Summer days are a little hot here in DC, but in the spring you've got a great place to just hang out and enjoy. Plenty of shade, lots of mature vegetation here. Really just a wonderful oasis to hang out in. A little bit of grass space if you wanna kick a ball or just sort of hang out, let the dog out. If you want, you've got hardscaped, you've got this great patio, and then we're gonna take a quick tour of the garage. So let's head over there. Into the garage we go. So as you can see, we have two bay doors here for the garage. Could fit two cars, but we have a little bit of a hidden feature that makes probably the second car a little bit hard to fit. So we can fit one car, maybe some bikes, trash cans, a motorcycle or a scooter if you have it. But then you've got this great little space, which is so seldom found, especially in homes in Upper Northwest. This is a great little hangout. Some folks have thought it'd be awesome for a teenager, but it'd be awesome if you could finish it out. Nice little workspace, a quiet little space. Obviously you might redo it a little bit, but something you never really see here in Upper Northwest DC. Right now, if you wanted to build it, I don't think you'd be allowed to build the finished space above the garage, but here you have it grandfathered in. What a really neat little extra. So with that, that concludes our tour of 3800 Harrison Street, located here in Chevy Chase, DC. If you have any questions, feel free to message us. If you wanna see us tour another home in Upper Northwest, we have another one coming up shortly, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks. Make sure I look good. Oh wait, I always look good. So as you come out of this formal living room, you make your way across the foyer and you enter the, whoa, the formal dining room. Let's take it back through the dining room. Moving upstairs here at 3800 Harrison Street, we get onto the residence level. So with that, Residents? They're not residences.